the Project Smart Plan. It's about um, upscaling um, low carbon footprint uh, recovery uh, products from uh, the wastewater sector such as uh, cellulose, nutrients, uh, also energy, and it has demonstrations in uh, several European sites. The Smart Plan project started in 2016, uh, and our initial aim was to install pilot and demo plants uh, in a real wastewater treatment plant to demonstrate that technology can recover materials. Uh, after three years, uh, we have validated these technologies uh, and we are able to recover material uh, that is then down processed in order to produce biocomposite, to produce biofertilizer, to produce alternative uh, uh, biomass fuel that is currently available at pilot and semi industrial scale. My name is Avina Kaju, I am Associate Professor in Brunel University, London. I am the technical director of uh, the Smart Plant Horizon 2020 project. We managed uh, to demonstrate at full scale portfolio of um, seven technological solutions, the Smart X. So the Smart Plant can be transferred in the several other cases and to transform the conventional wastewater utilities uh, to water resource recovery uh, facilities. My name is Caroline Lehey and I'm the Managing Director of SIRTEC. SIRTEC is one of the technology providers within SmartTech. Our role within SmartTech was to uh, build and operate a pilot plant to recover cellulose and to prove how cellulose and if cellulose from sewage, so recovered toilet paper, if this can be uh, reused. Uh, we work together with various partners within Smart Plant, and one of them is EcoDAC. Um, they made uh, benches from the cellulose, so we send them the cellulose that we recovered from the sewage water and they turn it into biocomposites and build the bench that you can see outside at the venue here in Venice. Hello, I'm Juan Baeza from the University Autónoma de Barcelona. I'm professor of chemical engineering and I'm in charge of the work package 2. Uh, that's about the mainstream uh, applications of the smart plant project. And we also have a, a pilot plan a system for removing phosphorus, EBPR, also for the cover in estrobite and PHA from the mainstream, so from the wastewater. In our case, we want to uh, uh, complete the legal restrictions for the discharge uh, with re regarding nitrogen, phosphorus and uh, COD, but doing that not only uh, treating the water but also recovering as much as uh, nutrients as possible in as struvite and also uh, as uh, sludge with a high content of polydroxyalkanoids that can improve the methane, methane production and also uh, if the concentration is uh, enough we could uh, recover bioplastics from this sludge. My name is uh, Christian Remy. I come from the Berlin Center of Competence for Water and I'm a partner in the Smart Plan project. I'm main, my work is mainly focused on environmental impact assessment. So I'm analyzing all the different technologies in Smart Plan, which are demonstrated at uh, pilot and full scale. And I try to analyze if they really are able to lower the environmental impact of the treatment plants. And so we can inform partners if their process is really um, moving towards a more sustainable operation of the treatment plant and where are potential hotspots and gaps and where to look for to optimize their process uh, and, and really uh, yeah, have the message that we uh, can be a more greener plant than before with uh, the smart plant technologies. So it's, I think it's a very crucial thing to show to the wider audience and also to politicians and regulators and, and operators that there is an environmental benefit of material recovery and that's what we tried to show.